Typical exercise today, where we calculate the uh, index of hydrogen deficiency for a, a C4 molecule, then we draw and name all the possible isomers. So it'll help us review our rules of nomenclature so far. What is the parent formula for a C4 hydrocarbon? H10. C4H10, right? You double the number of carbons and add two because the formula of any saturated alkane is CnH2n plus two. So the parent alkane for C4 is going to be C4H10. Let's compare that to what we have, which is C4H8. Creates a hydrogen deficiency of 2. And that means an index of hydrogen deficiency of 1. So HD divided by 2 is how to calculate the index of hydrogen deficiency, which is 1. What does an index of hydrogen deficiency of 1 signify? One. One double bond one ring. or one ring. Or one ring. Okay, so our structure, to keep with the, uh, the, the formula C4H8 and the fact that one uh, double bond or ring appears, must contain those structures. Not both at the same time, one or the other. That's why I, wrote, I underlined or. So let's do this systematically. What is the first structure that comes to mind that has four carbon atoms in a ring? Cyclobutane. Cyclobutane, right. Or let's do the cyclic isomers first. So cyclobutane is C4H8. I'm going to use um, bond line notation. So each, each bond is represented by a black line. Each elbow and each terminus is a carbon atom. We don't bother showing the hydrogen atoms in bond line notation. They're there. If you were to draw them, they would be like this, and, and so on all, all the way around the molecule. But we don't draw them in bond line notation. They're assumed to be there. That exhausts all our possibilities for, bond, for a C4. Now, let's decrease the ring size to cyclopropane. That leaves us one more carbon atom ava uh, available. So we can put a methyl group on it. What is that molecule called? One methyl cyclopropane. Methyl cyclopropane. That exhausts all the possibilities for um, cyclopropane. There are no other combinations that work because it would just it would just mean replacing the methyl group around the ring, but that's the same molecule. So now we're going to move down to uh, molecules that contain a double bond and four carbons. So one, two, three, four. Let's put the double bond on the terminus. What is this molecule called? Four carbons with a double bond. It is a no, you, butene, butene. Is it necessary to write one? No, no, because it's understood that if it's at the first position, you can. 
dispense with writing the one. Now let's move the double bond down the molecule. We can do, put it at the second position and draw this, or we can put it at the second position and draw that. So when the molecule is on the same side, it's called? Uh, I see. Cis. 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 Okay, cis. Two butene. When it's on opposite sides, trans two butene. It's called trans two butene. And we can also refer to the official IUPAC way of naming it. When the mol both molecules are on the same side, the German word is zusammen together. So we call it Z two butene. And Gegen, German word for apart, E2-butene. Either one of these is correct. <coughs> Have we exhausted all our possibilities for butene? Yeah. No, I think not. I think there is one more possibility that I can see, and that is to put both methyl groups on the same side, then you would name it as a propene. So that would be called what? If you start numbering it from here. Two methyl. No, it's not isopropyl, it's just propene. Two methyl, propene. I think that exhausts all the possibilities for a C4HA. There are only six isomers.